been worth something. Ah, oh, now my son bought them very dear. Seven pounds for the blue. Will you look at your man? Surely he knows it's his wedding day. Well, then perhaps you, um, you might consider letting me have one of these in exchange for... Would you not sooner have a pop, ma'am? Our last old lady, God rest her soul, was very happy here. I want my old home. Oh, no. You only think you do. You love sharing this nice sunny flat with Mrs. Grange Gorman. Now, what about supper? We have roast lamb, the first spring lamb, and treacle tart to follow. Or maybe something lighter. Roast lamb and treacle tart for us both. And don't ask her. She's as deaf as a post. May I see that, please? Oh, <laughs> oh no. Spinach, perhaps, and salad and yogurt for us both. That'll be perfect for tonight. And could our trays be sent up here? Naturally. Of course. No trouble. Oh, isn't this nice? So clean after Duraglass. Oh, I'll have the room with a view, because that doesn't affect you, darling. Oh, and such a nice, tidy garden. Perfect for pee-pee. <laughs> oh, I do hope Tiger's going to be happy here. Are you happy, baby doll? Please say you're happy, little man. Shut up if you can, you silly old bitch. Time for our breathing exercises. Take your time from me. Deep breath. Expand the stomach muscles. Close your eyes, relax, and let everything go. I'd like to kill you both. Wrong door, darling. That's the bathroom. You'll never find your way out without me. Rather an extravagance, I'm afraid. However... Sunday at 10.30 tells the story of...